Hello, it's Ecom Rebel, and today we're just going to go through the latest update for Trezor devices. So, as you know, this is a Trezor, and they've just issued an update, the June updates, which just came through a few minutes ago, for the Trezor Model T, Trezor One, and Trezor Wallet updates. So the main uh, information they've got here, these actually the links you can click through, whichever model you have. Uh, so let's go through what they've got here. So let's say I've got the Trezor 1. So let's click on that one. All right. So the first thing they, they're looking at doing is Zcash. So Zcash over winter update. That'll be coming soon. Uh, so that's planned on the 26th of June. So they're getting ready for that one. So you'll need to update that. And Bitcoin Cash, the now Bitcoin Cash had a, an address update. This happened in January the 14th. It's been a while, so it's been like five or six months. Uh, they've finally uh, changed the address format. So now the new addresses either start with a Q for Queen or P for Peter. Uh, now, if you try to use the old address, it's not going to work. It only understands the new format. So there's nothing else you need to do except the um, you'll need a new uh, need a new address that's something you need to do first and it starts with a Q or a P so other wallets like Exodus that's been in there for some time but it's available now so then they've got expanded coins and token support for Lisk, Decred, Bitcoin Private, Fujicoin, uh, Crossel Coin, Vertcoin, Viacoin and Zcoin and also with third-party apps, you can get into EOS, Classic, Ethereum, Social, Elasium, Callisto, EtherGem, OneChain, plus 500 new Ethereum tokens recognized. And you'll need to use uh, like me, my Ether wallet or my crypto for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to update this. So I think we'll go to, we'll go to Trezor itself and we'll click on Wallet. And we'll just go through the exercises, see what it does. So we got Trezor 1, so we're going to click Trezor 1. It's just loading the wallet now. So the first thing is it says is new bridge available. So let's check that out. I've got a Mac OS, so I'm going to run that. So let's download the latest bridge. It's only a small file, it's about 3 megs, so it's only, I don't think it's going to take about 10 seconds to do that. So after we download this, we're going to install it, make sure that we have the, the latest bridge and that connects to the Trezor physically. So we'll just run this package now. Open that up. Continue. Install it. successfully done we'll move the installer to trash so that's done now uh, let's refresh the page let's try that again we'll go to the wallet itself refresh Okay, so now it says connect to Trezor to continue. So we're going to connect our Trezor. All right, so that's lighting up. So now the first thing it says is um, the coin Bitcoin cash is not supported. You need to update to newer firmware. So nothing's working. Because at the top it says the new Trezor firmware update is available. Upgrade to access the features. So we click on show details. Okay. Now make sure that you test your recovery seed um, before. And this is, you can actually click on that link and check it out if you've never done that before. Make sure you have a recovery seed. If anything goes wrong, you can recover. So we're going to do that. The first thing we have to disconnect the Trezor. And then when connecting, hold both buttons pressed. So we'll take out the Trezor. So we've got the two buttons. We're going to hold those both down and put in the slot. Uh, 
And then it says, I have my recovery seed with me. So we're gonna tick that box and click update my device. So this will download the latest firmware. Now make sure um, that you know you're, it is secure before you do this process. Make sure you've got the green lock and you're attached to wallet.trezor.io. Now then it's please, please confirm firmware install. So on the actual device itself, it says install new firmware. Okay, and press continue. Now it's installing. Please confirm the firmware fingerprint on the Trezor. So we look on the Trezor to see if it's exactly the same. And it is. So then we press continue on the Trezor. New firmware successfully installed. You may unplug your Trezor. So you now need to reconnect. So we take it out. And we put it back in. Update finished successfully. Please rec reconnect this device. We'll just try that again. So then it says uh, recover wallet or create new wallet. So we need to recover wallet and we want to do the 24 words, okay? And we press continue. Then you'll need to confirm that on your Trezor. Press confirm. So now it's going to ask for all the words. So let's put them in now. So we type the first one and it's actually giving us random uh, positions. So it, it'll tell you to enter in, enter in like the first or the third or the fifth word and then it will continue. So it's completely random. So you actually type in the seed word and then press enter and it'll ask you for the next one. So I'm going to go through this and do the, all of them. Once you've done all the 24 words in a random order, it now says your treasure is ready. Okay, so we continue to the wallet. All right, so everything's back there. It's got all the accounts and all the information and everything back the way it was, and we've updated the firmware. So just remember to do this exercise, you need to have your recovery seed uh, for when you do the firmware update, you need that to restore it. Okay, so if you're not sure or haven't tested that, make sure you um, do the test first to make sure that works, and then you know that you can recover it doing this process. Okay, so I think that's all I need to cover in this video. Uh, until next time, talk to you then. Bye.